In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the periodic table to name monatomic ions, specifically the cation. So we are looking at cation. Now what are cations? Cations are basically a positively charged ions. And if you don't remember that, look at the letter T in the word cation. That T is very similar to the plus sign. So how do we name the cations? The name of the cations will take the name of the element. So it's basically is equal to the element name. So for instance, hydrogen one plus, we have the same name as hydrogen. Lithium one plus, we have also lithium. Or magnesium two plus, which is also equal to magnesium. So we take the name of the element on the periodic table. Isn't that easy? But there is one tricky part, and that is for the elements in group B. Because sometimes in group B, some of the elements will have more than one type of ions. For instance, copper can have Cu1 plus charge or Cu2 plus. So how will we name copper? We cannot just use the name copper and ignore the charges because the charge is extremely important. So therefore, what we use is we call use the Roman numeral. So Roman numeral. For instance, Roman numeral for one is I, Roman numeral for two is II, and three is III, and so on. In this case, if we look at copper one plus, that would be copper. So you notice how we take the name of the element, except we're adding something extra. In the parentheses, we're going to put the charge. In this case, is one. So the Roman numeral of one. And then for copper two, of course, we can start with the name of the element because all the positive ions take the name of the element, therefore we have copper. But to indicate this copper is 2 plus, we will put the Roman numeral 2. Now we look at the name copper 1 and copper 2. Copper 1 represents copper with a 1 plus charge, copper 2 represents with a 2 plus charge. But how do you know which one is going to be the right one? Of course we will give you the specific one to look at by using the name structure. And that's how we name cation. So again, look at the T in cation and that tell you it's a positive ions. 